All right, this one's gonna be on SC. It's a text user interface to do spreadsheet from your terminal. So just install the program. It's just called SC. Should be in your package manager of all the distribution out there. Uh, or you can search for a spreadsheet, either one word or two words separated out, and you should be able to find SC in there. Okay. Uh, so install that, and the way to use this is kind of like using Nano. Okay, so you do you know SD and then give it a name so I'm gonna call this one I don't know YouTube uh, dot SC that's the extensions they use right and, and this is it and if you want to get more help on this uh, they tell you up top here type question mark for help and basically the question mark it's uh, you know I'll show you everything let me do a full screen here and basically you hit the uh, question mark um, you have all the options that you can do in here. So this is the overview. If you want to use um, the toggle options, you can do that. And we'll first start out with using the um, cursor movements, like how you would navigate. So if you hit D, they'll show you how to navigate. So you can use uh, Vim hotkeys, H, uh, was that JKL H and all that. Uh, you can use the arrow keys if you're not used to that, and so on and so forth. But this one is mainly, uh, if you're a Vim user, you get used to it you know with uh, all the other hotkeys that you can do here so that being said that's how you use the uh, the help page in here and you can use uh, was that hit zero or something to get out of this uh, if you want to check out some other functions in here that they have you can hit any of these uh, letters like you know B C D E and F then I'll tell you uh, how to do all these other stuff that you can do in here right Anyways, if you want to get out of that, just hit uh, Q, and then you're back to the program here. So the program, if you ever use any uh, Excel or OpenOffice, LibreOffice, or any uh, spreadsheet program, uh, you know, pretty much you've seen this before. So navigation-wise, let's go over that again. Uh, arrow keys. Let me go this one. So arrow keys, you can go, you know, right, left, down, up. So not that hard. Same thing with Vim hotkeys. J, uh, K, L, and H, right? So that's that uh, for navigation. Now, the next thing is if you want to, uh, you know, insert something. So if you're inserting a string or a, a number or an equation or something like that, uh, it depends on what it is. So if you're inserting a uh, text or a string, they call it, uh, you have to use either uh, left justification, right justification, or center. So let me give you an example of what I mean here. So let's say on this B column here, B. let's go to B1 here. Um, if you want to insert uh, left justification, you do shift and then, uh, what is it, the less than sign, that sign right there. Um, and then you can type in whatever you want. So with this one, we call it the uh, left right and the next one b2 here we're gonna call this one center so to do center you have to use backslash and then we'll do center and for the last one here this one's gonna be uh the right side so i'm gonna do uh the greater sign and so we call this one right if i spell it right there you go so you can see the difference this one is left you know this one will center the text in the, in the center and the right side so so on and so forth so that's that's it for uh, the strings part now as, as far as the numbers you have to start out with the equal sign so you have to hit equals and then you type in either uh, your functions or your numbers so let's say for example this one would call it a uh, hundred right so there's a hundred and let's do another one here uh, equals and it will say 200 and let's go down again equals 300 right uh, and then let's say 7 here we'll we'll do this one center and we're just gonna put a bunch of lines here uh, that's way too many but you get the idea anyways we'll do an equation or what they call it well basically we're adding this sucker up okay so let's say for example we'll call this one um, uh, adding or sum or whatever. So we'll add these three here. So uh, B4, 5, and 6. And how would you do that? You do um, equals, 
and we'll do this um, built-in um, functions they have so you do at sum looks familiar right uh, sum and then we're gonna do what was that b4 to b6 so b4 uh, colon b6 and then we'll end it with uh, the closing parentheses and there you go it adds it all up you know as these um, one two three and that's how you get 600 as total and you can do the same thing for um, multiplications and all that so let me give you an example here well multiplications they call it products so we'll call it product here all right and we'll do the same thing again equals prod and this one it's in uh, B what was that B4 to B6 and that is it that's how you would uh, multiply them uh, doing that and they do have some other ones like average and count and all that so let me show you the, um, the help page again and where the hell was that one uh, I think that was an L right you hit L and you see there you go it tells you, you know, your products your average, your count, uh, max and min, and all that you can do uh, different functions you can do in there, right? Anyways, that's it for that part. Uh, next thing you want to do is, hmm. oh yeah, jumping. I forgot to talk about that in the navigation, but you can actually jump. If you ever use Vim, it's pretty much the same thing. You hit G, and then where do you want to go? So for example. Uh, let's go to F uh, 4 here right so it should be around here F 4 right now we're um, so let's say we say we start uh, on um, where the hell are we at here start point so right now on our starting point is right here on um, B 11 if I want to go to F 4 I use uh, G and then I just type in uh, F and 4 and that's it. Well, now we're over here, and we can do um, uh, end point. Right. So there we go. We started over here, and we jumped it over there real quick uh, using the G to jump. Uh, next thing you want to do is if you want to edit the things, like this one, you can't really do the equal sign again because you know it doesn't allow you to edit. You can it, it can actually uh, you can you know how you say it. You can refill the the cells, but you can't edit that way. So to edit, you actually have to use uh, the E hotkeys. So lowercase e is to edit uh, numbers. So if you just hit E here, you can see that uh, you have your hundred here again, right? And right now we're not in insert mode, so you have to hit I. To be in insert mode uh, like in Vim and they can move around using um, you know your arrow keys if you want um, so that's how you edit you have to hit E the lowercase e for numbers and let's say for this example we'll call this one uh, I don't know, change it to 500 or something and that's how you would change it right um, anything else in here so that's for changing numbers uh, let's say for example let's do that again E here and we'll change this one hit I for insert and we'll change this one to six and there you go we have six um, now as, as far as for changing text let's say we change uh, this uh, product here and we'll change the text only so you have to hit capital E so uh, shift and E here and now you can change it to I don't know instead of calling it product Actually, you have to hit insert mode for I, and then uh, instead of calling it product, we call it uh, multiply or something. And there you go. That's how you change uh, either string values or numerical values. Okay, that's it for that point. Uh, next thing is decimal places. Right now, you have two decimal places. Right, they have double zeros at the end. If you want to change the decimal places, you can hit F, and then you just hit the the up arrow. Or you know down arrow if you just want uh, no decimal values so that's really all you gotta do is you hit F and after you're done you hit escape and then you know you're back to normal here so again you hit F and then you hit up arrow and I'll apply it to the whole um, what was that column or rows 
I think it was a column, right? I always forget the columns or the fucking rows, but you get what I'm saying. This whole B uh, column here. And just hit up and arrow, down arrow to have any, um, you know, decimal points you want. Now, if you want to do that for just a single cell only, uh, instead of using the lowercase f, you want to hit the, um, the capital F. So this one, you hit uh, shift and F here. And let's say we want this one to be uh, one zero only, or no zeros basically. And you see this one is 500 with no decimals. And these two right here has decimals. Anyways, that's how you do it for that part. Um, what else can you do in here? I think that's pretty much all you have to do. Oh yeah, how do, would you save and, and uh, get out of this and all that? Uh, all you have to do is hit Q, and it'll say, do you want to save? And you just hit, uh, you know, it says right here, has been modified it, save before exiting. And you just hit Y or N if you want to, you know, save or not. So we hit Y, and it saves it. Uh, to this YouTube file and this is actually just a text file really so if you want to use the cat command to um, look at it you can actually see all the results that we've done so you see that uh, we have did um, uh, a left string and it's called left this one is a label it's a center uh, this one is the right and so on and so forth everything that we did in here they printed out um, when you cat it out uh, now, if you want to get back into it, it's pretty much the same thing. SC, and then we'll call this one YouTube. And now you're back into uh, the program. Um, that's pretty much how you use it. There's some stuff in here that you can't do. It's very limited. Like, I try to do an if statement. You know, like, if this cell is uh, over 100, then I'm rich. If this cell is less than 100, then I'm poor. You can't do that in here like you can do with, uh, you know, Open Office, LibreOffice, or Excel or something like that. You can't do that in here. So it's very limited. But if you're just using pure numbers, uh, it's great for that. Now the part of that here is whether would I recommend this program or not. I probably would not recommend this program mainly because there is no undo feature. Okay, if you do something in here. Uh, you have to get it right the first time because You know if you mess up you have to redo whatever you've done even if you delete something um, Oh, yeah, I forgot talking about deleting, but if you want to delete you just go to the cell that you want and then uh, You know hit X and it'll delete it and th The thing with that is that there's no undo like you usually in vim or something you can use uh, you to undo it There's no undo. I, I try to look at the man page and everything there's no undo feature. So that's why I probably would not recommend uh, this program uh, for that purposes. Um, you know, but if you're like one of those person that says, fuck it, I don't need undo. I'm perfect. Then, then this is great for you. But I need the undo feature. Okay. I always mess up shits. Uh, other things I forgot to talk about was that the deleting, you know, you just hit X, like I said before. So if you just go to this one here, you hit X, you delete. Uh, and then if I forgot to talk about copying so if you want to copy this let's say this number 500 here Copy is basically using markings uh, if you ever use vim uh, Same thing, you know you mark it so you use M and then we'll assign a uh, letter to it So we call MA to copy it and you can paste it over here uh, C and a and there you go it uh, pastes that 500 same thing with this one if you don't use uh if you want to use another marking, you can do, uh, what is that, uh, MB, you can assign whatever letter you want, and you can do, um, uh, what is that, uh, CB, and it'll paste it. Uh, if you want to paste it like uh, three in a row or something like that, you can do, what is that, three, three C, yeah, three CB, and you see it'll paste it three times in that, uh, you know, that line right there. So you can do something like that if you need, but that's pretty much for it for the program. Uh, I probably would not recommend it based on it does not have an undo feature. But everything else I do like about it, and I can see myself using this. So I might have to check out some other spreadsheet programs because there's a, a few other ones that I need to check out. If they have the undo feature, I'll definitely use it because uh, I do sell stuff like on Craigslist or something, and I want to track my money, how much I'm gaining or losing. Uh, profits and anything, but uh, pretty much it for the program. 
really. Uh, like I said before, if you want to look at some other um, things in here, just hit uh, the question mark, and you can do um, what is that? You can do actually financial stuff if you hit O in here, and I do have like payments you can do, you know, like monthly payments. Uh, this one is the future values, and this one is like present values. So any of that, if you're interested, you can try it out. But uh, I'll check out some other spreadsheet programs and probably make another video in the future. And if you want to quit, you hit Q, Q, and then you hit Y if you want to save. So that's pretty much it for the program.